that smell. I Capcom think that's Cup. it. And Problem X representing Miles, representing the UK, has qualified in to Capcom Cup X. If you clicked on this expecting punk slander, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, it's not going to happen. First and foremost, you have to give ratings where ratings are due. Punk done amazingly. But I'm failing to understand how this happens every single time. You get so close and then you just choke. I can't be the only one that believes that Punk is the best Street Fighter player. I don't give a damn about accolades or who's won Evos or Capcom Cups or none of that stuff. Hands down, Punk is the best at playing Street Fighter. So it genuinely bothers me that he's not going to be in Capcom Cup competing. Because I know out of everybody in that whole Capcom Com list, all the groups, the death group, all of that stuff. None of these guys want to fight Punk. None of them. None of them want it with him. I feel like all the pro players in Capcom, when it comes to competing, Punk is the most third one. And that's for a reason. So when I see people online making fun of him for losing in a tournament or not getting the trophy or always making it to top two or top three and never coming out on top, first of all, you're all losers. All of you guys commenting also play these games. It's not a thing where, oh, you just spectate. You play these games. You want to be as good as him. Keep it real, you want to be good. I'm good at fighting games, but I can recognize that to get to that level, you have to be cracked. And unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not willing to do the things that these guys are willing to do to get to that level. So I have to give respect where respect is due. But once again, it bothers me that he always chokes when it comes down to crunch time. If you're watching this video, I want you to confirm or deny this, innit? Because this ain't that happens to me. A lot of times when I'm close to achieving something and it's too easy, I take my foot off the pedal thinking that, oh, I know I could have done that if I wanted to, so it's not that deep to me anymore. And that little switch of a mindset can make all the difference and before you know it, everything just starts going to shit immediately and it happened to me a lot. So help me understand if that's what's happening to you because you watch the tournament, you see the LCQ, the guy's watching everybody one by one, back to back, confidently, destroying them. He gets down to the final match and all of a sudden, he getting smoked. All of a sudden, he's not taking a break in between rounds. He's going straight into the rematch. And with this new PS5 system where the rematch is no loading screen, literally instantaneous. Come on, man. You have to take a breather sometimes. It's like he's setting himself up for failure each and every single time, which I don't understand. I don't understand. And as you can tell, guys, I'm from the UK. Obviously, I want to see Problem X win. I want to see him win the whole tournament just because he's from the UK and it will be sick to see that. I've literally seen the guy in tournament in real life in my area. And to see him now compete at the highest level and win, that's of course, that's incredible. I love that. But the inner fighting game lover in me wants to see more people like Punk competing at the highest levels because all this esports nonsense of everyone just all trying to be nice and say the nice, I say the right things and be politically correct. I don't give a damn about that. I want to see a Donny win with confidence and then talk smack in your face. Beat Alpha 3 is your first team. This is ass. Tell Bum to call me right now. Dude, is he's garbage, bro. I don't even need the button. That's the only thing I personally believe drives people to want to actually win. When someone came to you, called you trash to your face, and then they actually beat you, I promise you guys, that kind of pain, <laughs> they're not recovering from that. The only way to recover from it is to get good, come back and win. That's the only way. And that's the reason you have so many of the brilliant fighting game community videos, because of things like that or what make moments in fighting games. I would hate to see in 10 to 15 years, Punk all of a sudden not be relevant anymore just because he didn't win the actual big trophies. That would annoy me, but I personally feel like he's made some of the biggest impacts in this whole fighting game scene. You know what I mean? That's me personally. Let me know what you guys think. But when it comes to accolades, these are the things that usually make you go down in history. So when you go back to 10 years time, you're not gonna watch all the videos. You're not gonna look at who won and then watch their videos. You know what I mean? You're not gonna actually go back through and see who came second or third. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes, isn't it? That would really annoy me. So I need to see this guy start winning. Punk, if you're watching this, whatever that is in your mind that you need to fix and sort out in order to win or get over that last hurdle, please, for the people, for the people that wanna watch you play and support your gameplay, just win.